Scientists agree that something strange is going on in the dark zone behind Neptune. Are we about to discover a new planet there? If that's the truth, then it's huge. About 10 times the size of our Earth, this planet would be a scientific wonder. But why have we overlooked it so far? Planet 9 is the provisional name of a mystery that is thought to lie far deeper beyond the orbit of the planet Neptune. The planet has not yet been observed directly, but there are indications that there must be another massive object in the darkness of the Kuiper Belt. Scientists are now almost certain that there must be something there. The reason for this conviction is the enormous anomalies in the orbits of a group of trans-Neptunian objects. We have known of six such objects since 2016. Sedna and Alicanto are now quite well researched. Four other objects have so far eluded precise observation. This group of objects are sometimes also called TNOs or Sednoids. They all have conspicuously clustered orbits, which indicate that they are influenced by the gravity of a very large object. Since 2012, on the hunt for Planet 9, were you aware that three of the large planets were discovered by orbital anomalies alone? Pluto, Neptune, and also Uranus were detected due to orbital anomalies of other planets, and now we are on the trail of another planet. The pioneer of this research is the U.S. astronomer Michael E. Brown. He conducted intensive research in the Kuiper Belt back in 2006 and discovered, among other things, a RIS the dwarf planet that is so similar to Pluto that Pluto has lost its planetary status. In 2012, another researcher named Rodney Gomez first put forward the idea that there could be another large planet in the Kuiper Belt. He initially suggested a planet about the size of Mars or slightly further out, the size of a Neptune. Mike Brown took up the idea and worked together with Chad Trujillo and Scott S. Shepard, among others. By analyzing the orbit of the object 2012 VP113, the three came to the conclusion that Planet 9 must be much larger. In 2014, they initially postulated another planet that should be larger than Earth. The presumed orbit determined showed that this planet must have an orbit that carries it far out. It could take between 7,000 and 10,000 years to orbit the Sun. French researchers contributed an evaluation of the measurement data from the Cassini space probe. They also firmly believe in the existence of the planet. Cassini explored the region around Saturn until 2017, and some researchers are trying to continue the Cassini mission. The probe was to be guided into the Kuiper Belt, but NASA waved it off, and Cassini was brought down after its primary mission over Saturn. It was quiet around Planet 9 for a few years, but Mike Brown never gave up his research. He firmly believes in the existence of the ninth planet and has found a comrade in arms in Constantine Batagin. For years, the two astronomers observed the objects in the Kuiper Belt and created further mathematical models and computer simulations. It was not until 2024 that the two presented new evidence. The new simulations again clearly showed how the orbits of the TNOs match up with a planet that is around 10 times more massive than Earth. The probability that the strange constellations in the orbits of the TNOs are coincidental is calculated to be only 0.007%. An ice planet larger than Neptune? It sounds fantastic. Imagine another planet appearing in front of our telescopes at some point that is huge. Brown and Batigan estimate that Planet 9 has 10 times the mass of Earth. In doing so, they corrected old calculations according to which the planet could even be larger than Neptune. In fact, the new calculations show that Planet 9 is roughly the same size as Neptune and possibly also has the same structure. This would make Planet 9 one of the largest planets in our solar system. The question arises as to how we could have overlooked such a huge planet until now. The answer to this question is quite simple. This planet orbits so far out of the inner regions of the solar system that it's almost completely in the dark. Planet 9 very probably only approaches the Sun on a highly elliptical orbit every 6,000 or 7,000 years. The rest of the time, it moves further and further away, making it harder to see. The area in which the planet could be located is huge. 
Astronomers used to think that there couldn't be much beyond Neptune, but today we know that there is still a zone of 13,414,590,220 kilometers, about which we still know very little. Our exploration of the Kuiper Belt and the TNOs has only just begun, and who knows what else is hidden in this enormous area. What if Mike Brown is wrong? For almost 12 years, we have been asking ourselves whether this planet really exists. While Mike Brown is certain that the planet is out there somewhere, other researchers are sparing no effort to prove the opposite. They have shown that the orbital anomalies of the TNOs could also be explained by the mass of the Kuiper Belt itself. It's possible that there are many other phenomena within this hundreds of thousands of kilometers wide zone that we do not know about. One of the craziest ideas is that of a tiny black hole that has such a huge mass and gravitational pull that it clusters the orbits of the TNOs. Brown presented statistics showing that all these models are rather unlikely. The probability that the planet exists, on the other hand, is over 90%. Nevertheless, the possibility remains that Brown is wrong. Well-known examples of such errors are the search for the planet Vulcan, Trans-Pluto, and Tyche. Vulcan was supposed to be a planet between Mercury and Venus and explained some of Mercury's orbital anomalies. However, it was never found and there were other explanations for the orbital anomalies. Trans-Pluto has long been the hypothetical name of an influencing factor behind Neptune. The claim that this object exists comes from semi-scientific sources and could never be proven, although Planet 9 would probably be very close to this object. Some scientists even believe that there could be another planet even further out in the solar system. This planet is called Tyche, and its orbit could take it to the regions of the Oort cloud. What happens if Planet 9 is found? Who would have thought that it could be Planet 9, of all planets, that could bring Pluto back into the ranks of the planets? Mike Brown is not only the discoverer of Eris and one of the pioneers of Kuiper Belt research, but also the man known among experts as the Pluto Killer. His discoveries led to Pluto being stripped of its planetary status, and it's now only a dwarf planet. If the existence of Planet 9 is confirmed, this could change again. Scientists may then have to rethink their definitions of a real planet. If the planet really does appear, things will change. Brown and Batigan will certainly go down in the history of astronomy. The International Astronomical Union would be responsible for naming the planet and, as one of the largest in the system, it would probably be traditionally named after a Roman deity. Here we already have Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Great gods and goddesses that could complete this series would be Janus, the god of beginnings, transitions, and doors, for example. This would fit because Planet 9 would certainly open a new chapter in astronomy. Somnus is the god of sleep. Since Planet 9 is located in the dark, outer regions of the solar system, this name could symbolize its quiet and remote location. Perhaps in times of equality, the commission would also choose a goddess, and here Fortuna, the goddess of luck and fate, or Nox, the goddess of night, would be at the top of the list of names. How likely is it that Planet 9 will be discovered in the next five years? I bet you didn't know that three new super telescopes will be launched in the next two years. The hunt to explore the universe and unravel the greatest mysteries of the cosmos continues unabated. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is currently being completed in Chile and will repeatedly image the entire sky over a period of 10 years. The telescope has a large field of view and can detect faint, distant objects, making it ideal for the search for Planet 9. The observatory's high resolution and sensitivity make it possible to track the smallest movements of dark objects at the edge of the solar system. James Webb will soon be joined by the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. This space telescope could also play an important role in the search for Planet 9. It will be equipped with a large field of view and high resolution. State-of-the-art instruments will systematically search the sky, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope could finally discover the ninth planet by observing movements and reflections of the finest sunlight on the surface. 
The ALMA Observatory in Chile is also currently being overhauled and will be launched with 66 high-precision antennae, all perfectly tuned to achieve precise observations in the millimeter and submillimeter range of the electromagnetic spectrum. These wavelengths are ideal for identifying cold objects in the outer solar system. Once we have the exact position of Planet 9, ALMA can help in the detailed study of Planet 9's physical properties. The probability that Planet 9 will be discovered in the next five years is greatly increased by these new telescopes. These instruments offer an unprecedented combination of field of view, sensitivity, and resolution that will improve our chances of finding such a distant and faint object. A probe to Planet 9? We don't even know for sure if it exists yet, but some scientists are already discussing a probe mission. Presumably, the ninth planet only approaches the Sun in a cycle of around 7,000 years. This would give us the best chance of sending a probe to the planet. Missions designed to reach areas beyond Neptune take up to 10 years or more to reach their destination, depending on the constellation. Scientists agree that we urgently need a probe to explore the outer reaches of the solar system. At the moment, only New Horizons is traveling in this area. The probe, which originally studied Pluto, the moon Charon, and some Kuiper Belt objects, is currently 8.88 billion kilometers away in the Kuiper Belt. As this area is huge, it would be a stroke of luck if the probe were to come across traces of Planet 9 by chance. Then the name Fortuna would probably be the most appropriate for the new planet. Become a subscriber now and never miss a new video again.